Well, folks, I've dug around in several spots here, there, over there, over and through here, up there, back there. Everything just looks to be like from the 30s or 40s or 50s. Not that that's a bad thing, but they're just not uh, interesting. There's no embossing or anything on them. They're just all just like food jars, condiment jars, that sort of thing. So, uh, milk white, uh, slick brown medicines are all screw tops. Anyway, I'm going to look around the perimeter and see if I can find anything else. Could just back up if I do. Well, folks, I made my way around the perimeter a little ways. And it uh, looks like somebody's been here. And look what they left me. I see these bottles all laid out here. Look at that nice amber one. It's a wonder that's not broke. That's a nice bottle. Jordan embossed on that side of it. I'll take that for sure. Machine made, but oh well, that's a nice bottle. That is a nice bottle. Broken cork top in there. Some other ones there. Yeah, I'll get you back up if I find anything else. Let's take a look at that in the sun. Oh, I nearly lost my phone. Yep. Okay. Catch you in a bit. Right here on this edge. Let's get that out. Just a slick. Made. I'm gonna go down in here. I know I got you up. I see something. Some blue glass over here. Oh, there's an ink. Huge ink. Okay, see what else I can dig up. I'll get you back up in a bit. Okay, folks, I think I've got an awesome find here. These burdock blood bitters. Now, if that's a cork top, that is awesome. I've got a few screw tops. Never found a cork top one. Oh, <laughs> it is a cork top. Now, let's see if it's whole. Sweet. Love it. All right. Wow. I like that. It's Toronto, Ontario on it. Awesome. And then there's another one down here somewhere too, I see. Right here. Looks just like a, just a graduate medicine. Yep, it's pork pot. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's just go for now. That's right, full of mud. Get you back up on the next time. Three bottles down here. I want to get you up and we'll do a live dig, a live uh, pull. There's the first one. It's a cork top, slick. There's one here, it looks like it. Oh, there's a piece of glass. Could have been a cognac money bottle. This one's round. And it's a uh, cork top. Listerine, Lambert's Pharmaceutical Company. Now this one here is one I want to see. Oh, it's a Buckley's. I get it out. It's facing downward, so it's probably all together. Well, it's a cork. It's a screw top, though. But it's another one with the embossing all on the face of it. So that's a nice find. Yeah. All right, catch us on the next one. Well, 
Hey folks, I'm gonna get out of here. My bag's pretty much full. Welcome back another day. I'd say what happened here was that somebody dug this trench out with a tractor. I can see they threw some dirt on that side and piled it up up here on this side as well. And this uh, little dump area probably extended out into there. They dug it up and piled some up here and the rest is just scattered around here. So I'll come back and scrape around some more at another time. At least now I know there's something here. So uh, I'll get stuff cleaned up and we'll see you all on the uh, wrap up. Over and out. Good day folks. Hope everybody's doing well today. I'm back with a recap. Uh, this particular hunt was pretty good. I'm glad I found the site. I'll probably get a few videos out of it. Once again, it's just a, like a single homestead dump site and uh, one of my favorite finds of this hunt was this burdock blood bitters bottle it's a cork top i'd found several screw top versions in earlier in the spring so i was happy to find this one being cork top and all and then this uh this uh burdock blood bitters was established in 1873 in toronto canada it was quite popular during temperance and prohibition times because it contained 25 percent alcohol so you know if you didn't want to be caught drinking alcohol you could just always pick up a bottle of burdock blood bitters here's my other favorite find of this hunt is this big jordan wine bottle and it's a cork top as well check out the embossing on this baby look at that beautiful Yep, this bottle here is uh, from 1932, that's the date on that one. We got this little Pendleton's Panacea bottle, Fraser Thornton and Company, Cookshire, Quebec, Canada. It's a little six panel sided bottle, cork top, machine made. And it's probably from the 30s as well. We got a uh, cubed ink. I was expecting it to say Carter's on the bottom, but it doesn't. It's got the consumer glass mark, though. Nothing real special about it. We got a Buckley's bottle, an early one. And uh, Buckley's was a Canadian cough syrup. Found it in 1919. This bottle's got the Dominion glass mark on the bottom, so it's after uh, 1928. This bottle is from the 30s I would imagine it's got the broken uh, thread pattern on the top two breaks in it it's an early thread pattern um, we got just a variety of little medicine bottles here these two are uh, those two are graduated medicines and this one just has uh, embossed on the front Two fluid ounce contents. We've got a manganese top. Put that in the collection. A Listerine cork top. Still got some of the cork in it. And it's the uh, it says Lambert's down on the bottom. And Listerine was established in 1879. And this bottle here is likely from the 1930s. And then we just have this shard. It's a Wilson's Irvine Bitter Shard. And this one was from St. John, New Brunswick. I save the shards if they got writing on them. Generally, if I find anything interesting about them. So that's it for this hunt, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and the roundup. Look at that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one. Good luck, happy hunting. Have a good day.